Hi, Dr. Steve Geary with Stebbin Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas and Greenville Hospital System. Really having a discussion about the role or the possibility of uh, knee replacement and doing both at the same time or bilateral knee replacement. Um, this has been done probably for over 20 years. Um, our current criteria are partial patient selection. Patients have to want to do both. Um, that's something we're not strongly pushing people. Um, if people do have a severe amount of uh, contracture, let's say flexion contracture, where they stooped over with their gait, um, we may want to, uh, that may be a relative reason to do both at the same time. But for the patient who wishes to do both at the same time, we would, we would certainly want the patient to uh, be in a category where they would want to do that themselves. Uh, we would want them to be able to uh, medically to be, uh, have their medical conditions be um, all stable and without any s significant um, medical conditions that would feel to be an excess uh, risk. So those may be relative. Um, we'd want them to be able to do the rehab. Uh, certainly it's, it's more work in the short term uh, and doing both at the same time um, and to have a good family support to be able well to do that. There are some improvements today that um, make this different than maybe 20, 15 to 20 years ago. Um, one is uh, how we do the surgery and trying to do that with a little less uh, risk biologically. Uh, certainly we've come a long way with what we do with um, blood conservation and um, blood control at the time of surgery and people's need for transfusion has dramatically changed. Um, certainly would be a little bit higher risk doing both at the same time than doing just one, um, but, but usually we can control those so the transfusion rate would still be um, a pretty uncommon with doing both at the same time. Uh, we have some technical things we can do we think are make it less of a risk. Um, one of which is computer instrumentation, another which is, is patient specific cutting blocks. Um, both of these um, techniques uh, are, are available. Both allow um, some of the technique of the surgery to be done in a little less invasive fashion without having to uh, make a drill hole in the thigh bone and um, s spread the marrow uh, material into the bloodstream, which we think uh, may be increase somebody's risk uh, when we're doing both at the same time. Uh, certainly um, after the surgery, the rehab is a little slower on the front side, um, so people have to be um, strong enough going into it, and that's something we would assess uh, both clinically or even with some supervised physical therapy to see if they are indeed a good candidate for that approach to be able to do the rehab in the early, in the early juncture. Um, so this is something we're doing is select patients uh, with their involvement in consultation with their physician, um, reviewing where they are in their medical status, where they are in terms of their family support base, and where they are physically, and we're thinking that we, they could do the rehab. Uh, the balance of that is it's um, certainly one surgery, uh, one anesthesia, one time out of their life doing uh, surgery in a rehab, which um, some find attractive. The cons are just a little slower on the front side and um, definitely requires more, more work and a stronger constitution probably going into it kind of thing. Uh, 